Welcome to this tutorial on creating a business card using CorelDRAW. In this tutorial, we'll look at the steps involved in creating a business card that will get the attention and the interest of your customer. Although there is no set size for business cards, each country has a common or recommended size. In North America, for example, it is 3.5 inches by 2 inches, although this is not carved in stone. For this project, we'll be using the common European size of 85 millimeters by 55 millimeters. Let's get started. Make sure that you have the units of measures set to millimeters. I'll enter 85 as my width and 55 for the height. When creating a business card, there are a couple of rules that should be kept in mind to ensure the design looks professional and conveys the image that you want to for your business. Cleaner is better. Try to maintain white space. Having clutter can hide important details to the reader. Have about 3.5 millimeter area around the perimeter of the card and try not to use a border or frame around the design. Doing this will only make the card look unprofessional if it is not cut properly after printing. The next thing to look for is repeating elements throughout your business card. You can repeat colors, shapes, typefaces or textures on your business card. By limiting your card to one typeface family, you will see a professional difference. Keep the size of the type on your card consistent throughout. Also look to see how text and images are aligned. Our eyes find aligned text and objects pleasing. This is a very common mistake when designing business cards. Text on your card may be aligned left or right or centered, as long as it's consistent. Use color. Making use of color will help to draw attention to the viewer. But be careful not to use too much color. This will make your card appear cluttered. Now, let's get back to our project. Once we have the page size set, I'm going to add some guidelines to ensure that I'm leaving an even space around the perimeter of my design. I can do this in a number of different ways. Perhaps the easiest way for me to do this is to draw an object that I can use when placing my guidelines. I'll show you what I mean. I want to have a border of about 3.2 millimeters, or approximately one eighth of an inch. If I draw a square that is 3.2 by 3.2 and position this in the upper left corner of the page, I can drag out a top and a left guideline. Now by moving the square to the lower right of the page, it will allow me to add the bottom and the right guideline. Now it's just a matter of deleting the object. We're going to start by importing the graphic image for our business card. From the file menu, I'll select import and browse to where I have the image stored. Once I have my placement cursor, I'll click on the mouse button to place the image. Using the Artistic Text tool, I'll click towards the top of the card and type in the company name. Next, I'll change the font. As I do this, you'll notice in the background that as I scroll over the fonts, the text type will change. I'm going to select the stencil font. I'll type in my next piece of text and for this one I'm going to choose Staccato 222. I'll resize this text and position it where I want to.
Finally, I'm going to type in the slogan and the contact information for this card. As we mentioned earlier, care should be taken as to how text and images are aligned. I want the contact information right justified, and it is aligned with the right of the lawn care text. An easy way to do this is to select the contact information, hold the shift key down, and then select the lawn care text. Tap the letter R on the keyboard. Next, I'll align the contact info with the slogan. Select both and tap the letter B for bottom. I'll resize and position the grasshopper image where I want him. One final thing that I need to do is color the text grasshopper. I want to use the same Pantone green that is in the grasshopper image. An easy way to do this is make use of the eyedropper tool. I'll select the eyedropper, click on the color that I want to fill it with, and then by holding down the shift key, click on the text. This will fill the text with the same Pantone color. One thing that you may notice here is that the left edge of the image falls off the card. This is what we call a bleed. Bleed is where there is text or graphic element that goes right to the edge of a printed piece. When creating a bleed, it's preferable to make sure that the element is over the edge by at least 3.2 millimeters or one-eighth of an inch. And there you have it. My card is complete. The only thing that I have to do now is print. We find that many of those that are new to Corel Draw or use the application occasionally will at this point duplicate the design, say 10 times, and lay them out on a page to print. Here, we're going to get into something a little bit different. We're going to use the imposition tool. Imposition is the process of arranging pages correctly prior to the printing so that they fold in a correct order. Although this document is a single page, we can still use the imposition tool to lay out multiple copies on a single output. From the file menu, I'll select Print. I'll be prompted with a dialog box to set my paper orientation. Answer No to this. Click the Print Preview button. In the toolbox, I'll select the Imposition Layout tool. And now, on the Interactive Property bar, I'll set the number of copies that I want, both horizontally as well as vertically. Now normally, if there was no bleed in the design, this would be all there is to it. However, I need to create a gutter or spacing between the cards so that I can properly cut them when printed. To do this, I'm going to click on the pair of scissors at the top of the page and again, in the interactive property bar, type the value of say 5 millimeters. This will allow a space for a bleed. Click on the pick tool and see the final layout. I want to add crop marks to act as a guide when I go to cut the cards. From the settings menu, select prepress. Here, select crop and fold and click OK. Now it's just a matter of printing the file out. So as you can see, it's very easy and can be a lot of fun to create a professional looking business card.